Ray Give TV exclusive. Yo, Ping Ray in here, bro. He just popped in. There it go. Somebody must have. Oh, you didn't know? I got it's content. Click that bell. Tune in. Okay, so check it out. Whack 100 goes off on Tiny Draws and Brick Baby for capping like something really happened at the game's concert when they really know it was a conversation that they didn't want to have. What? I'm going to shout out to Whack 100, the whole Hunter side, spin the block. Let's get to the content. It's Ray Give TV. Spin the block. They've been just soft. Niggas is soft. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Niggas just running their mouth at this point. Just to hear they self talk, man. Jumper, who was right there, sharp, and he whack was like, well, let's see what they, they these is talking people. Ghosts, they like to talk, man. Like they like to talk loud and they like to be like that. But when you really there in the front of their faces, they really humble, man. Damn, is y'all gonna is y'all gonna pinch something? Like, oh god. Yeah. Get pitched like take take off on like like yo. <laughs> they really friendly, really friendly, man. Hey, he ran up and started cussing the out of nothing. Nigga ain't even did that. No, they tried it twenty deep. They tried it, ghost. What they lied, take off on me. That's why I keep telling them, put the video out. Y'all got it. Y'all showing the steel frames. Put the video out. Nah, Put nah, the man in the video. See, see this the thing, bro who really know that clip that they did put out was enough because if you've been in that situation nigga know what you was doing behind that car you nigga know what you know. were doing behind you that door no nigga know exactly niggas. what you was doing behind that door bro bro i'm in a red eye with 800 horses bro i could have went i chose to get out i could have went and walked to the back of the car walked on i chose to get out what's up it was 20 this is why they don't want to show the other side it was 20 foot hoodies. Dead homies. Yeah. As soon as I seen that video, I said, oh yeah, bro had that fight. He was telling them niggas, come hey, on with it. I had a hey. bear hunter. Nigga, what I a, a what a what a long john in that nigga. I got a call that same night because some of my homies was in in the <coughs> parking lot watching. And they was like, yeah, that nigga, man, he stood them niggas off. <laughs> hey, and then waved them off like you could, like nah, I got it. Hey, hey, but they try first. They try to say he jumped off the stage. Mind you, I'm in the. I, I was there. Bro, bro, I'm bro, in this, there. This, I'm, this, I'm oh, there. This, go. This the bottom line to it, bro. Don't bring a bunch of who got the mind frame to go back home. That's the wrong team for me. I'm not scared to die. I'm just gonna leave a blood trail for my homies to follow. That's it. I'm pretty good at what I know how to do. I come up hunting rabbits and pheasants and shit with my country ass family members. 14 shotguns, 20 gauges, 12 gauges, 30 eyes, sixes, that type of shit. Hunting a nigga is easy for me. Right? And I'm kind of rich. So I ain't with nothing generic. Most niggas who's in the car is gonna get on the gas. Nigga, I jumped out and said, Ghost. Y'all looking for me? I looked a bit in the face and say, Paru, you going first. Any of you niggas do any movement, we laying everything down. It's a ditch in it with a whole nother tranny in my hand. What we doing? Don't nobody move, homie, on neighborhood here. Tell me. Yeah, you know. What's happening? The other homies, y'all, I'm straight. What's happening? What we doing? Yeah, that's what I thought. That 20 of us come from a nigga. You just got, we gonna do, we just gonna roll the dice on it. And then I start saying it that really got him nervous, Ghost. What you said? I start saying, I start saying shit that really got him nervous. Nigga, you know how I get out. The same way I got out for you on Brianhurst against your own nigga. Nigga start looking at him. Uh-oh. Uh oh. What cuz say? <laughs> Shit crazy. Shit crazy. Yeah. And let me tell you what they did know, Ghost. So, if I'm six o'clock, right? And these niggas, 20 niggas, is ranging from 
9 o'clock to 3 o'clock on the other side of me, right? The homie Gas is 50 yards to my right. Lay back. Behind all of them is my homies. 20 feet behind them. They don't even see it. So whatever I didn't get, they was going to eat up. They was going to run their way and run right into some shit. I don't need 20 niggas. Y'all going to have a massive five, crowd, too. It's five niggas that don't give. They don't even realize they got a bad leader. This nigga got these niggas in the trick bag. Bad leader. But you know what that look like? That, that ain't even look like no situation like them niggas really trying to do nothing. Them niggas oh, were just no. trying to go. Oh, they no. were trying to go. They were trying to go viral. That's what they were trying to do. But it ain't work out. It ain't work out for them. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. They wanted they wanted to catch you and do some bullshit and put it on camera. That's what that look like. They ain't really but want no hey, weird. They ain't really want no weird. The first smoke. video though, the first video they had some guy saying that they had caught him jumping off the stage. They had some old ass dusty ass kids saying it. And then all of a sudden they said they, they put that other one out. Oh, Ghost, the worst thing they could have did was put the shit out. Cause remember, Ghost, I spoke on it. They said it never happened. Yep. They put it out. <laughs> we was he went straight to the Beehive after they said that. We was in the Beehive chilling. I remember that night. Cause I was there. I went to the concert. Whack. I was there in the audience. I seen Whack was cooling. And they then they then the stupid nigga put it out. When they put that clip up, he goes, "You ain't stupid." Hold on, bro. That nigga out the car behind that door. Uh, uh, Danny had to, he had to enter the ass in the car. In, any any nigga that been in them type of situations, if you know, you know. You knew what was going on with that. <laughs> and then here go Brick Baby. I was there. You a motherfucker. <laughs> but nowhere around. Fuck. Are you telling me Brick Baby there and he won't even want to go outside of his own business when they pull up to his business? Get the fuck out of here, Brick Baby. He's a. Man, the a niggas be crazy. Niggas be talking crazy. Yo, where Alexa? We need to go over that boat shit this week. Oh, the cruise? Yeah. Yeah, she probably need to go lock in a whole block at least like 30 or 40 rooms. <laughs> get the get the prices and then everybody put their oh, deposit ghost, on the a the ship before me right now, ghost. They called me, I tell you every morning, check in. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it be funny. Niggas don't. Niggas don't. Yeah, okay. That where the nigga Stutterbox from, right? Yeah, they don't that nigga over there like that. He don't live over there. That nigga don't even live in LA County. He don't even live in Orange County. That nigga two counties over. Oh, gotta send the Rolls Royce key to the people. Talk about that. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about the content. Whack 100 going in on Tiny Draws and Brick Baby for capping like something really happened at the concert when they claim they have the footage but never put it out. What should Boy Ray give? Drop a comment down below. Let's get back to it. Yeah. Well, I'll let them have a little fun. I was eating it up though. They was rooting on. They was rooting. Get that nigga. Get that nigga. It was on top, ghost. We was looking for your ass. I ain't gonna lie to you. We was trying to find you. You kept coming with the racist attacks. On yeah, he was. Oh, he's a. He's a I was this whole time. <laughs> Yo, that was wild. Black like women bitches. <laughs> I was just taking a whole movement on these. That shit crazy, that shit happened though. I don't know why niggas start hating on us. I'm still, I ain't gonna lie, right now today, I'm still confused why niggas start hating on us. I don't get it. I think the build over here was so strong, niggas just said, fuck, fuck, niggas. 
still don't know why niggas started hating. None of y'all never told. We never started shit with none of you niggas. Never. Come on, ghost. Come on, ghost. Nah, I can't, I can't, I can't, you know, I can't say that, bro. All the shit. I could say you might not have, but niggas around you definitely was starting shit. No, niggas like, niggas, niggas nah, hell nah, hell me. nah, what? You got to keep shit a thousand, bro. niggas around me went defending me. Niggas, niggas, niggas like Reek and shit like that. Reek was causing Ooh, a lot of bullshit, started. bro. Hey, come on, Reek bro. was causing a lot of bullshit, bro. Where Reek start? Man, that nigga was causing a lot of shit, bro. Running paperwork ain't start nothing. That nah, 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 nah. He was doing shit to cause confusion and shit. Like, you know, this nigga, this nigga, niggas done got kicked out the club because of Reek out of respect for you. Like, Chuck kicked the nigga out because of Reek for you, bro. You know what, what I'm saying? Because mean? Chuck fucked with you. Because Reek was making up shit on a nigga, bro. I don't know what that's about. I'll yeah, it's a nigga, it's a nigga. And he was a loyal nigga too. It was a nigga named Kosh used to fuck with us, a little young nigga, right? He used to do a lot of little technical shit and shit like that, right? But him and Reek had issues and like, you know when Reek started doing that shit, like dropping himself to the goo, making it look like niggas was dropping him and shit? Oh, Come on now, you remember that never shit. Knew, Beast, I know I you remember knew, that shit. I never knew Reek had problems over there. This new to me. Never... Yeah, he used to do some little weird shit. <coughs> I never knew Reek had issues over there. I ain't gonna lie. It's new. I didn't know Chuck fuck with Reek like that. That's just real, nigga. You just said some shit to me I ain't know nothing about. But if that's the hardest y'all can hit, that still wasn't enough to go at the hunting side. I think it was a little hatred. Cause none of this shit was 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 for real. This shit was just like, to me personally, it was just like internet shit. Nah, but see that's some bullshit. Cause if I come as friend, I treat me as foe. What about that? Hey, look, when you right, you right, bro. When you yeah, wrong, you like, wrong. Nigga I, nigga, I never, nigga, never, nigga, did I treat that room as an op room. Never. It's only one thing I did do is I shut down the Free Ray Rick interview with King Erner. And that's because... Yeah, I, me I, I, remember, I remember you did that, that... But I that's did, that's something you did that was fucked up, bro. I ain't gonna I lie did, to you, hold bro. Hold on. Did I not come over there and tell y'all? No, you did. Because we knew, but, I but didn't we didn't know. I tell y'all antagonizing you, though. Nah, nah, but look. Broke. But look, whack, whack. This the thing, and I'm gonna be real with you, bro. I'm gonna see if you. Why go, did no, I no listen, listen. I'm gonna see if you're gonna keep it a thousand, bro. What? Listen. The thing I feel like is, nigga, you should have told us that before we found out another way, bro. Because you and Chuck had that type of relationship. No, I feel like you, you could have. I feel like you could have told I Chuck. Shut it down. I came to the room and told y'all. Nah, it was shut down before that, bro. It was shut down early that morning, bro. You, you and Rick got on the phone early that morning, bro. Nigga, as bro, as soon as I shut it down, I came and told y'all. Now. Why did I shut it down? I know your reasoning. Mika said King Erner about to interview Free Ray Rick and he said he finna go at it. Nah, and see, that's the whole thing, bro. Hold on, like, bro. She said, she, she told okay, me. go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna I'm, 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 I'm tell King you. King Erner about to interview Free Ray. If she, if she would have told me Chuck about to interview Free Ray Rick, I wouldn't have did nothing. King Erner, King Erner is a West Coast killer nigga. Right? I know Free Ray Rick and his demeanor. He don't do all that. They was trying to make Free Ray Rick content. Nah, bro. See, that's what I'm saying. You going off what bro, she told King you. King Erner was trying to make Rick. Was King Erner not running point on the interview? No, listen what I'm I'm finna tell you how this shit was finna go, bro. She if she told you that, bro, that's Dead a whole, homie, she told me that. Okay, I believe. That's a lie if she told you that. Because this how that was going, bro. This was supposed to be a conversation. This is how we even got the nigga, the nigga, um, Rick, right? Rick manager was in the room when King Erna was in our room, bro. 
they him them two had a, a um a conversation there wasn't no disrespectful conversation or nothing Ernest said a point that he felt about rick you know what i'm saying like on some paperwork he and the nigga he echo, thought rick was a snitch right and all and this is what happened the nigga echo was like cool he, was, he hit us on the back end he was like look i'm gonna set it up where y'all can have a conversation echo was a violation no listen 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 so me and echo got on the phone everything was lined up boom chuck was gonna be asking both of them the questions and like you know mediating the situation you feel me it wasn't supposed to be no it wasn't gonna be no it was king earner you i believe you i believe you listen i believe they told you that west coast killer nigga but listen listen i believe they told you that bro no i don't feel like that way i don't feel like he a west coast killer i don't feel like that come on bro i don't feel like that you go the difference from me and y'all i'm gonna protect my coast you should I'm going to no, protect no. my city too, nigga. I no. live in New York, but I'm going to protect so, Atlanta all day. So, um, you know, Rick is a pillar to our movement out here. Period. Right? We understand Rick's case. When you explained yeah. it like that, you was not wrong, bro. I don't feel like you was wrong now. But from the standpoint we hearing it from then, I did feel like you was wrong, bro. But the way you the way you saying it now, bro, I got to put everything to into account at that right, point. Bro. I shut that interview down, but at, I'm not gonna let this nigga attack the homie like that. So, at that point, you gonna at that point you're gonna believe Mika because y'all was cool at that point. You feel what I'm saying? Bitch told so, me. I don't know why she told me. I didn't know y'all was even gonna interview the nigga. Yeah, see that that was a lie, bro. All that shit was a lie. That that was cap, bro. I had no idea. That was all cap, bro. Like everybody had done talked on the back end. I had done talked to uh uh Echo. You know what I'm saying? Erna. Everybody was let on the same page, bro. Let me tell you what y'all did realize though. That nigga whack must have a voice. Cause Echo, you the manager. And you're not even you can supersede what Wack then did, can you? Cause I know y'all tried to call it in. Wasn't moving. Yeah, that's a fact. It wasn't moving. I ain't gonna lie. It wasn't moving. Nigga. Not worth wax beat. Nigga, you know how hard I tried to make that shit happen, boy? Wasn't moving. And that made you hate me even more because of who y'all thought I was and you seeing I was. Why you just didn't respect who I was? Nah. Why I, you didn't say listen, nigga got listen, to be somebody, bro? Listen, listen, bro. Nigga I speak, they listen. Listen, I ain't hate you for that. I just didn't like that situation, bro. Because this the whole thing. I don't know if you knew this part of it. You probably didn't know this much. That was on the, the, the day it was going to happen and why we had it set up like that. It was going to happen on Biggie death date. You feel what I'm saying? Like... Shit was gonna be, be yeah, a good, look, be some good content. I'm just saying, bro. Like that's that's what we was doing. We was presenting it as that way. You feel me? Well, listen. If you want to interview Free Ray Rick, I can call him. You can do it over here. He ain't coming by telling too. That's my homeboy. He love me to death. He trusts Wack with his life. That's why when Wack said, "Yo, Rick, don't go to that club by shit. They trying to line you up. You ain't gotta say no more else, little bro." Hey, like, set it up. But niggas ain't finna come with no weird ass narrative. Yeah, we don't give a fuck about no nigga using the government to get out of jail. Yeah, nah. See, <laughs> Shouty lied to you, bro. That that wasn't what that was. Oh, that was she talking. Now she might have been mad. She couldn't get in. I don't know. You know, I don't mind niggas interviewing niggas. I interview whoever the fuck I want to. I can bring whatever I want to this motherfucker. I can bring all kinds. Hey, 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 Wack. And don't forget, too, they had Iced Out trying to run point with them on that little thing, too. Remember, they tried to have Iced Out, a weird-ass Iced Out, do that shit, too, with them? Do what? That day you guys were going to do that Rick Ross shit. Where I, where, 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 Hell no. Nah. I thought we going to be part of that shit. King, King Ernie, that, he, was, he, was, he was with that shit. Or some of you guys had him over there with you guys at that point. I, I don't I stopped being on everybody's stage trying to trying to scream at whack and shit. That's all he do, bro. Like you think we run content with that nigga? That ain't a nigga you could do no content with, bro. He's a fucking troll. His whole point on being on here he is just to King jump into. Earner tag along, bro. He was right. His first, his only thing to do is to get on here. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about the content. Whack 100 going in about the whole situation at the games concert where we clearly saw footage of what Whack was doing but never got footage of what they claimed they did. But fortunately for all parties, everybody left unharmed because that's what happened. It was just some talking. It was a conversation. You know what I mean? A conversation 
and that never went nowhere. You know what I mean? That's what I get from those situations. And that's a win on both parties, right? Because you don't want to see nothing happen to nobody, man. You know what I mean? Let's let's keep it out the streets, man. Say no to drugs. Keep your best foot forward. Make the most of your 24 hours. Communication is key. With this situation, what do we learn? We learn from having a conversation. Things might pipe down. But shout out to the people tuning in, man. I appreciate the support. Everybody watching, please keep that notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on no premium content, as I will deliver the content as I get it, for sure. But like I always say, man, you got to stay down until you come up. You feel me? If you got plans and goals, write them down. Take a picture of them. I mean, for real, like, this is serious. If you want something to happen in life, you don't have to plan for it. Preparation is everything. Presentation is everything. You're going to have to make it all work. Make whatever you're doing a masterpiece. Go hard or go home. Because that's all there is. You know what I mean? Ain't no slacking. Ain't no lacking. At all. But I appreciate the support, everybody tuning in, man. That's just my message of the day. Appreciate the support yet again. But until next time, it's your boy Ray Gavin. I'm gone. God bless. Peace. Thanks for watching.